In psychology, you'll get asked to talk about extraneous variables and, co and confounding variables. And they're pretty much the same thing, but a lot of people get confused about the difference. So in the exam, it might ask you to how you would control for extraneous variables. So they'll give you a stimulus and you need to read the stimulus and identify anything that might pop up that would interfere with whether the real independent variable is causing an effect on the dependent variable. A confounding variable is pretty much the same thing, except that it means that in the real experiment, the experimenters didn't control for those extraneous variables. So confounding variables will systematically change with the IV. So if you think about Harlow and his monkey study, the independent variable was supposed to be why a mother with milk or um, soft mother without milk. That was meant to be the independent variable. But Harlow, um, the cruel man that he is, he, he did a lot of stupid things, but he also gave the monkeys different faces. So the wire mother with milk looked more like a robot, whereas the um, soft mother without milk had more of a monkey face. And so because he didn't control for that extraneous variable, that extraneous variable became a confounding variable. It systematically changed with the IV. And that means that we don't know whether it was the real IV that caused the difference to the dependent variable or whether it was actually this monkey face, this confounding variable. And that means that we can question the validity of the results.